What's up you guys, Justin Rivas here. Today we're talking about some of the technical terms of video and photo making like aperture, ISO, shutter speed, white balance, trying to explain them in a non-technical, easy way to understand so you can go out there and start making better videos or taking better photos or having intelligent conversations with people and will hopefully guide you a little bit in the journey. Now there's lots of information out there about this, but I find sometimes it's pretty technical. So I'm hoping to explain it in a really simple and easy way to understand. So first up, we are gonna be talking about aperture. Now, the easiest way to understand aperture is with this little prop right here. Aperture is how open the opening in the lens is and this is a wide open aperture and we can dial this down and you see it gets much smaller. This is the same as you know your human eye, how when it's really bright outside, your pupils, they get really, really small. And then when it gets really dark outside, they open up big to let more light in. Well, cameras are the same way, is that that lens, which is like your eye, is letting light into the camera. Now, things like DSLR and mirrorless cameras and you know, most even point and shoots have the ability to change how big or how small that opening is. Things like your iPhone, that's a fixed aperture, meaning it can't vary that, but most of these cameras can. Well, why does that matter? Well, it lets you have more control over what you're doing in two main areas. One, again, it, I think it kind of makes sense, but this lets in a lot more light than this does because it's a much smaller opening whereas this is letting in a lot more light. And the more wide open that aperture is, which is typically represented by a lower number, the lower the number, the more open it is, and the higher the number, the more close it is, that's just varying the amount of light that you're letting into the camera. So if it's a really, really bright day, you could use aperture to you know, clamp down on the amount of light, or if it's really, really dark, you wanna open that wide open to let as much light in. So one part of aperture is light, but the other part of aperture that's really important to understand is the smaller that opening is, the more things that are gonna be in focus. Whereas the more wide open that aperture is, things are gonna to begin to get blurry. Let me show you an example of that so we can make sense of it. I've got a speaker here and I've got a camera here and I'm gonna hit record here. And what you're gonna see is the speaker is in focus, but the background and even like my face over here is blurry, but this is in focus and that is blurry. This is at a 3.5 aperture, which on a kit lens at its widest setting is as wide open as it can be. And as we zoom in even here, you're gonna see that I'm now at a five aperture, but if we focus in on this, yeah, we can still see the background is nice and blurry. So those lower numbers, you have the ability to do this provided you're close to your subject, the further away your subject is, the harder it is to blur out that background and the more wide open aperture you need. But sometimes there's cases where you don't want the background to be blurry. You want whatever is up front here to be in focus and you want the background so you can to be in focus. So we're gonna do this here. We're gonna turn up this aperture. We're now going 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, I think is the highest it can be. And you can see that now my monitor is almost in focus back here and the background's almost in focus while the front is in focus. Again, I'll dial this all the way down here to go back to 3.5 or 4.1 or whatever I can be here, the lowest number. And you see how much blurrier that background is. This is a really important part of Aperture because it allows you to take control of what you want the viewers, whether they're watching a video or looking at a photo, you get to help them decide what they should be focusing on. Whereas when you have a really wide open aperture and the background's blurry, you can say, hey, I want you to look at this speaker, not at the background. Whereas if we had the background in focus here, you don't really notice the speaker and instead you're kind of noticing that background that's in focus. Whereas you may have some cases, let's say it's a big dramatic landscape and you know, you've got somebody talking to the camera but you want to be able to see the beautiful mountains in the background and the scenery and other things. That's where you would turn that number way up to make way more stuff in focus. But again, remember that the more stuff you leave in focus, the more that closes down and the less light that's coming into the camera and your camera's gonna have to work a little harder. And so we can use other things like shutter speed and ISO, which we're gonna talk about to help balance that out. But at the core, just remember aperture is about how wide open this is versus how closed down it is. And it affects two main things, how much light is coming into your camera and how much stuff is in focus. And so just play around with that. Most cameras like this Panasonic, you know, whether you're on photo or you can set this in video, has a little A there and that's for aperture priority. That lets you set the aperture and the camera does all the rest. So if you want to start playing with aperture, find the A, play with that, dial it all the way down, dial it all the way up, get close to subjects, have subjects farther away and begin to play around 
and see what ends up happening when you play with aperture. But just remember, you get to choose what you want the viewer to focus on. And typically in cinematic things, they're using really wide open apertures so that like eyes are in focus and ears are starting to get out of focus. So you're really locked in on what they want you to focus on and not distracted by all the other things that could be going on in the scene. Hopefully that made sense. As always, any questions, please drop a comment below and I would be happy to answer them. We're gonna jump into some more topics.